So I think what we're going to call this is Mystery Tackle Box Fail. Uh, without fishing this morning, but I um, chucked a memory card on the laptop, doing the old uh, edit, and then I realised that as I'm going through the, um, the videos and the files, half of them are corrupted, they won't even come up, so um, it's going to be a strange video because obviously you know, we're supposed to be picking these laws and using them and then changing to the next law, to the next law, to go through these laws. But, um, yeah, I've, I've sort of lost half my footage. So I'll make the video anyway, um, you know, with what I have. And we'll call it Mystery Tackle Box Fail. So? It's like watching uh, roadworks. We're just standing around doing nothing. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. Like, it puts me to sleep when I watch it. But watching that little tiny ball go back and forth. Yeah, turn, turn that on. Watching them all rub themselves. Alright, guys, what I'm doing today, I've got me one's a bait and tackle mystery box. This is all I'm going to use. What have we got in here? I haven't actually opened it yet. I don't want to open it until I got here because I don't want to cheat. See, man, grubs, bloodworm, ball sinkers. That'll pair up perfectly with them. Some bass minnows. A switch blade. Some uh, has been. I think that's the Temp Industries um, jig head paint. A little atomic diver. Yeah, pulse worms. Gulp. Some uh, jig heads. A little surface walker. And we've got a feral cat tail spin. All right. Well, what am I going to use first? I'll tell you what, I'll chuck one of these on. What I'll use first. Now the jig head size I normally use, this is a 112. Um, I normally use a 120 fishing in the canals. But this one's quite wide. So I'm quite happy about the weight of this. Because it'll mean that I'll be able to cover more ground. And I'll be able to cast it further across. I don't even know how deep this canal is, I've never fished here before. Um, thought I'd challenge myself. Mystery box full of laws that I don't know what they are. And somewhere I've never fished before. So, fingers crossed, there's fish here. Because no matter how good of a fisherman you are, no matter what laws you use, at the end of the day, if there's no fish there, you're not going to catch any. Simple as that. She's a uni knot. Oh, she's a uni knot to tie my hooks and jig heads on. Use a reverse Albright for the leader knot. Alright. Distribution of bed sediment. Well, whose fault is that? Doesn't say anything about his law. Oh, yeah. It's got a slight taper on this side. I'm hoping the other side's bigger than the bottom. Look at that. That's, I tell you what, a good blade in this reef. In the middle, I can't make too much. Oh, I'm going to chop it. Right on your body shadow, see? Oh, that's a good sign, this stingray, isn't it? Well,
I don't know if I stripped enough braid off. Oh, look at the size of those mullet. Mullet. <laughs> yeah. You gotta go, you gotta do another one. You've got to go clean it. That's late. That's late. You've got a feeling like it's just a little crummy. <laughs> I'm so tempted to just turn my camera on and try and tackle one of them. <laughs> oh, mine is on. Oh, I was thinking about just launching into one. <laughs> I gotta crack this bass minnow. I just have to. Now, I'm still using the bass minnow, but I switched over to a jig head because I couldn't. Couldn't really control it. The breeze has picked up. The current's ripping out. Um, and I was getting heaps of strikes, but I couldn't land a fish. The reason being, I think, is because I couldn't feel what the lure was doing. So it's kind of just floating around out there with slack line. Um, and I was simply too slow to respond. So I've switched over to that. The jig head's a bit heavier. Should get me along the bottom a bit better should be able to feel what it's doing a lot easier and um yeah i'm still going to take this lure off the challenge i'm not going to give up just as i turn the camera off i literally hooked that oh god no, that she spiked me That was out wide. Well, we've been drawing them on the edge. So I wonder if we're onto a school. I'm also regretting. I was drawing them on that bassman and I switched back to this. Because I felt like I'd lost my mojo and I was struggling a bit. So I needed just to catch a fish. 
Yep, another one. Found a school. This one's a little bit better. This one's a lot better. A lot better. Found a school. Please scoff that. I get the highest. again oh that one's strong wind's gusting that way current's cranking that way makes for very tricky fishing it's another little one had a few mates with him. Perpendicular to the line, it just puts a big bow on the line, it makes it really hard to feel what's going on. 